Bless our software partners. You know, I mean, they. where would we be without the beautiful people building us software? And I've got five of them that pitch me on their product. 60 second pitches, people building cool stuff for accountants like you and I. Come on in, maybe you'll find something that you fall in love with. Puzzle. Luke here with Puzzle.io. Hey Luke. A complete QuickBooks replacement. First things first, good for you, meet in the brief, 60 second video. Why is this so hard? A couple things, but first I need to reply to this email the system sent me okay. and say that this is for partnership revenue. I'm gonna jump in here to a transaction that was paid September 18th, but I actually got the bill in July, you know, managing cash and all. I now have dual cash and accrual books just by clicking a calendar. Why did you the send The other really email? cool thing is, especially with Mercury, we have automatic reconciliations within two clicks because we have access to their API and can pull the statement balance and assume the correct last month to reconcile. I just completed a bank rec with two clicks. Now, the cool thing here is on this transaction, since I emailed in my response, it's now marked as partnership revenue. Sick? What? Heck, did, hmm? Like your email's talking to the accounting ledger? Okay, if you haven't heard of Puzzle yet, they're really one of the, if not the biggest, like more new agey ledger apps that are gaining traction. Modern accounting design for startups. And if you and accounting firm owner are thinking, is this a thing for me? Where they started is with startups. I think they're starting to go a little bit more broad than that, but particularly if you're working with startups, we're checking this out. And a lot of the messaging is around upgrading from QuickBooks. Cause honestly, QuickBooks, it's been around for a while. Is it time for something new? I know it's a very integrations first platform. So if you got people working with, you know, they mentioned Mercury, stuff like Stripe, the this, this stuff that will actually integrate and has a really good API. I think that's what Puzzle's trying to tackle here. Cool, I'll put, I'll put a link to this and all the others uh, in the, the video description. This is Uplink. It's Uplink. And auditors. 60 seconds on the dot again. Let's, let's give Uplink two points, two points. Use Uplink to request and track hundreds or thousands of documents from their clients. And our most powerful feature is our ability to query those documents using embedded AI. In this trust yeah, agreement, buddy. we can pull out who the settler is, as well as what happens to the house. Looks like it goes to the spouse and the cousin. Sorry, kids. Let's look at this lease agreement as another <laughs> example. So we're pulling out commencement date, who the parties are, jurisdiction, and even answering a complex question about whether or not the tenant can make leasehold improvements. Now we can also do this across dozens of documents at once. So you can specify all your queries and then for every file your client uploads, it'll be marked up with the answer to those queries. Sick. And the best part is you can download that to your favorite program in the world, Excel. Now there's way more to show you like dashboards, reminders, and notifications, but my time is up. And good for you. Keeping it within six seconds. Okay, Uplink, gang. What's the website? Uplinkapp.io. So as a major internet celebrity, I'm at most of the accounting conferences and I go around and I talk AI stuff with people. I don't know that anybody's got their heads around AI as well as the team at Uplink. What you just saw there, the ability to query across all of your documents. You've probably heard me railing on all this and how we need this in our practice management systems. Bless their hearts, they're doing it. So first and foremost, it's like a, a request list tool, which normally makes your mind go to audit, but I know some non-audit folks that are using this as well. So build out the list of things that you need to collect from the client, but then also do some really interesting things with it with AI, like actually pull meaningful information from those documents. At the end of the day, it's a big sweaty request tool. And y'all know how I feel about requests. Let the machines do the requesting so the humans can go back to doing the human stuff. <laughs> The old way of staff accounting is a little bit like prescribing leeches in the days of advanced modern pharmaceuticals. It's painful, and it looks a little bit like this. Okay, leeches? But a 17-yard penalty to Rillet, straight off, straight off the bat. 60 seconds! That's the brief! At Rillet, we set out on a mission to create a new type of GL specifically built for SaaS companies. It integrates directly into their modern tech stack, so that's on the Salesforce or HubSpot on, a, on the CRM side. We built a native Stripe integration, and we've all been through the painful Stripe reconciliations at the end of the month. 
Ugh. as well as many of the other tools on the bank, AP, and a payroll side that these companies use. We then ingest that information. So for example, on the contract side, we ingest start and end dates, close dates of these contracts. Our users can select revenue patterns to book journal entries then into the system in a fully automated fashion, which then helps to generate a revenue waterfall fully automatically, as well as deferred, that you can easily tie back to your balance sheet. Sick. We do the same thing on the prepaid side um, and have many other accounting automations built in. All of this then flows into clean reports like a SAS PL that are fully drillable or an ARR bridge that is technically a non-gap metric, but very important for our customers. Fully drillable. People have called us crazy for trying to build a new GL from the ground up. And maybe we're a little bit, but we're really passionate about what we're doing. So don't deny the signs. Come join us in building the latest breakthrough technology in accounting. Nice. Real it, the first accounting platform made specifically for SaaS companies? I would argue you got that revenue rec problem actually in a bunch of different situations, but they're going after SaaS. Stop suffering through spreadsheets to supplement a general ledger you've outgrown. Rillet has revenue recognition and key SaaS metrics built right in. I think as we're thinking about like, what does the next ledger platform look like if we do go away from the ones we've used so far? There's probably a degree of unbundling, like a ledger platform that is, you know, more specific around these different use cases. It's kind of how it used to be. So it would make sense if like our cloud platforms go that way as well. Automated contract to cash like that. Net dollar retention, look at the colors. Close management, boy. That's one thing that I, I don't feel like ledger tools do enough of right now is like managing the life cycle of what goes into a monthly close. Like they're just a ledger app. They don't actually help you do the close itself. Solutions for accounting firms, it me. Supercharger deliverables with built-in reporting. It would be cool to put, like if you got a SaaS client, to put a financial statement in front of them that is not your vanilla QuickBooks financial statement, right? Cool, that one is realit.com. I'll put that link, uh, link to that in the video description as well. Hi, Jason. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kind of a, a minute, 41 seconds? That's a 41 yard penalty. Roger, Roger might've just gotten penaltyed right out of the stadium. Kid on the block. It combines shared inbox and project management features, providing the best of both worlds in a single platform. The setup is quite easy. Connect Roger Roger to your preferred email provider, Outlook, Gmail, and email comes rolling in. Okay, real talk, sidebar. Is email now a mandatory part of a practice management system? I feel like it might be. And if not, we're getting real close. So much of work happens in email, right? Like getting tasks in, the stuff you have to assign out to your team. I'm actually a big fan of like email first platforms. Set up an email account as a shared one or a private one, but there comes the difference. You can make a task out of every email right from within your Sick. email. Add your details, assign Get that tasks to the workspace, description, tags, deadlines, all common stuff you know from task management or project management tooling is in here too. And the best part is the email goes with the task. Tasks can be shown inside of an inbox, but let's hop over to workspaces. You can add multiple workspaces to manage project or process. Add teammates to the workspace and use common project management features like add mention, comments, subtasks. And since the email is in the tasks, you can even answer emails right from within the task. Okay, so like email comms first, all in one, keep everything organized in one place. I get it. I don't. I feel like we've gone through these like oscillations between all in one and best of breed. And I actually feel like AI is bringing us a little bit more back towards all in one. There will still be place for best of breed. But how much of your firm are you running out of your email inbox right now? Am I right? But that stanky old spreadsheet that you're using to run your accounting firm, does that see in your email? And no, I didn't think so. Okay, Roger, Roger, great teamwork right from your inbox. Email collab, tasks, projects, all that stuff in one place. We've got kind of a class of like help desk email tools where all they do is manage email, but that doesn't always like bridge you to like all the work that your team has to do and recurring work and all that stuff. The best shared inbox and practice management crossover. Workflow automations, I'm listening. I did, I, ugh. I've put out a lot of content on email, like managing email, but there's no greater time suck for most accountants right now than managing email. It's usually a product of not managing requests, 
not delegating email, because it's absolutely a part of your business process that you should be delegating. What's the best one for that? We did a podcast episode on that, I'll link that up there. But man, whatever helps you manage email better. Most of us are wasting like half our half our day in the inbox, right? Smart Suite? Hey Jason, I'm Avi. We got a seven yard penalty. Smart Suite, and I'm excited to pitch you Smart Suite. Smart Suite is a work management platform that allows you to manage any type of process or project within Smart Suite. We have templates, over 200 templates. I'll show you the ones in the finance and accounting area uh, so you can kind of see the types of stuff that we look at. So let's take a look, for example, at tax preparation. I'm gonna use this template, download it into the platform. And what this platform allows you to do is connect your workflows, track your data in one place, link workflows to data and so on. And so over here, for example, it's like Airtable with a fancy hat. I've been around this channel very long. You know, Airtable holds a very special place in my heart. Well, we have a record and this represents the tax work we might be doing. Uh, this might be linked to company documents that I have, and I can set up many different field types to track specific data that I'm looking for. We have automations and integrations built into the platform. And so just Sick. all in all, this is a great platform. Many accountants are finding great usage for to manage their practices and even introduce this to their clients. So this last view here, you've got like all your works happening in this tax work tab, but then you've got like a database of documents happening here in this tab as well. Uh, can I just skirt, skirt on back to this? It's like Zapier built in, pretty cool. Interesting thing to me about these platforms, and there's like, there's a certain type of accountant out there that like absolutely loves the flexibility of kind of to a degree building their own thing from scratch. But the other really interesting thing here is how powerful this stuff can be for your clients as well. As we've been talking on the podcast about like specializing as a way of getting people to pay you more for doing the same work, one of the ways you can absolutely specialize is like through software, like the software platforms that your client use. And really getting to be an expert in like something like SmartSuite or like, you know, Notion or, or something that a lot of different types of businesses use is you could absolutely become like the accountant for X, like for that software platform. So if you've used Airtable before, I know we've talked about Airtable quite a bit on the channel. This feels to me like Airtable with a handlebar mustache. Does some interesting stuff on top of that in a, a way that probably looks a little more polished than Airtable these days. Got the built-in automations as well, really like that. Even in situations where I didn't use this as like the core thing to run my entire firm, Man, I always had stuff like that on the side for like limited time projects that we were running. Like a new bit of legislation comes out and we gotta like run this stuff past a bunch of clients. Like I feel like this is exactly the sort of thing we were pulling in for these sort of ad hoc projects we would work through as well. Super interesting. I love that these things continue to get better too. Future Jason here. I forgot one. I forgot one. It's called Accruer. The accounting industry is at a crossroads. Oh wow. With so many retiring there's one looming question. Uh -huh. How do we get more young people interested in accounting? Finoptimal had a radical idea. Build an accrual app that's easy enough for babies to use. <laughs> if your baby can spell for the period, they can do accruals for prepaid expenses, deferred revenue, and fixed assets directly in QuickBooks Online. Wow. Using that one simple phrase, Accruer will magically book every entry, make any adjustment, and automatically create your schedule, which you can fully customize and export Not for your work papers. If you or a baby you know Put that shirt down, young man. the period, please visit accruer.com slash baby today. Slash <laughs> baby? 10 out of 10 pitch. In fact, give them a point because they came in at 59 seconds. Good job. Accruer.com slash baby. They actually did it. That's the domain. An accrual app that's easy enough for babies to use. Let's just quick sidebar on the, on the pipeline debate. Have we considered babies? Have we considered how babies could meet the 150 hour requirement? So they said you could do it without leaving QuickBooks, but then they also showed an external app. Does that mean it's like a Chrome extension and will like autofill those journal entries? Color me intrigued. Handles fixed assets as well. It's interesting. Hopefully it's not just an outsourcing group disguised as a software company sending all of this work to a bunch of baby accountant outsourcers. That one's Accruer by Finoptimal. Five software companies that are working to make 
you more productive. Let me show you a sixth. It is this video sponsor, Firm360. Because you know what? There's absolutely nothing more important than the brain, the hub, the thing that sits at the center of your accounting firm. And most firms are still not running their practices on the right practice management system. You may have seen two, three weeks back, we put out a practice management report of like 14 systems, really good systems. There were systems that were not on that list. One of the systems that was on that list, Firm 360. And one of the really nice things that they're doing is trying to give you a single place to manage all of that stuff from practice management to documents, projects, documents, time and billing, all that stuff in a single place. And you may have noticed in that practice management report, one area where Firm 360 is a leader right now is in the level of detail that go, go into in time and billing and the reporting that you can get out of that stuff and how the invoicing works. Because frankly, to date, it has been like, it has been hard to get a cloud practice management system that did uh, billing in a super robust way as opposed to how more legacy systems did billing. If there's really one thing that legacy systems still did better than cloud systems, it was probably billing. And Firm 360's pumped like a bunch of investment into how that works. Now, Firm 360 was spun up actually by an accounting firm who was like, uh, I can't find the thing that I actually need, so I'm just gonna go out and make it. And for all the, I don't know, the engineers and developers out there who are like, well, I'm gonna make this thing that's gonna solve all your problems. And then you get in and you're like, this thing sucks. Do you even understand what I do? I hold a special place in my heart for software that is developed by accountants. So if you feel like that, like, brain of your accounting firm is not what it needs to be right now. Check out Firm360, I'll put a link in the video description. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now, we've done, this is like our fourth pitch video now, I think. If you're in the market for practice management systems right now, as it is that time of year, I'll link up here actually, a past pitch video we did with just practice management systems, or the whole playlist of pitch videos where you can find a whole bunch of new tech that could save you a pile of time. Just saying, I'm just saying, what? I'm just saying.